Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So we're in our AV8B today and we're going to look at air-to-air -air refueling. Like most air-to-air refueling, the procedure is dead simple, the application is not. It takes a lot of practice and I haven't done this for about six months, so we're probably going to cock it up, but let's give it a go. Unpause. Right, the first thing we want to do is initiate communication with our tanker. We've got our tanker in visual here. You'd probably usually initiate a bit further away than visual. Radio 1, we're going to go click on M manual we're going to type in his frequency and his frequency I've set in the mission editor as 131 if you don't otherwise know the tanker's frequency then it and you're on a multiplayer server or a single player mission look in the briefing screen it'll probably be there if it's not there then essentially there's no way of knowing it doesn't say on the map or anything like that so those are the two ways of doing it uh, anyway let me type in 131 enter and then I'm going to press the COM1 push to talk button. Uh, and I'll sh better show you, I suppose. Just controls. For me, it is uh, this COM forward, select COM1. This actually works, this radio one here. Okay, so let's press that. At the top here, we've got tanker and intender of fuel. Texaco, in field, one, one. Request rejoin. In field, one, one. Texaco, proceed to pre-contact. Okay, so he knows that we're coming. He's getting set up in his orbit for us. So the next thing we're going to do is get our fuel probe extended. And I always forget where this is. Is this one here. We want it to the middle or out position with right-click mouse. Check the probe. There she is. One thing you'll notice is that the probe is to the side rather than in the front. In the uh, Hornet, for instance, it's in the front and that makes it much easier. The side is very difficult. Uh, okay, so let's go and fly towards our guy. He's going to be about 300 knots, something like that. So if we uh, encroach at about 350 knots, we should be fine. We've got our ready light up here. And in fact, this little box is going to be useful as a guidance tool, if you like, for the, for the actual boom. So the boom, we're going to have it come across our left side of our cockpit and ideally through this box here or behind it. That's the physical the kind of visual guide that I'm going to use to try and get the boom uh, the basket sorry in the probe okay so what we're going to do is going to select a side we're going to go to the left side here that'll do air brake on let's just slow down a little and we're going to move into formation with him about 100 feet behind okay i think that's close enough now we're going to speak to him again we've already got our comms up here from last time ready brief ready, contact. contact he's going to give us a boom now you can refuel two at a time. Uh, we often do on emissions, as you can see, so you can refuel left and right at the same time. Now, we're going to wait for the boom to extend fully. Okay, it's ready. Now, this may take a few goes, so we're going to move in and have that thing push past our ready box. Break away, break away, break away. Ignore that. Oh, we missed by miles. That's annoying. Break away, break away, break Let's go back and try again. Off the throttle. Oh, I better show my controls. And you'll have to do this several times until you get it in the basket, basically. So let's try again. Get level. Get it behind our box. A little closer. Oh, missed again. Try again. Oh, break away, break away. Ah, ah, break away, break away. Ah, break away. Ah, five minutes. Yeah, hey, got it. Right, concentrate, man. Woo. Right, now we're just going to fly in formation behind the uh, the uh, the fuel tank there, or the provider. Now, notice that we've got a green light on the back. As long as we keep that green light on, we're good. Uh, there's nothing really to say here, just fly in formation with it. You can see the controls that I'm doing on the bottom left of the screen. Uh, as, all, as with all flying in formation, we never ever stop moving the throttle. The throttle is always moving. If you ever stop moving the throttle, you will never be able to fly in formation note the control stick the control stick will never stop moving as long as you're flying formation you'll have to keep moving the control stick and the throttle 
quick glance down to look at the uh, fuel load in a minute. 6,000 pounds. Whoa. Okay, we got it. Other than that, there's nothing really to say about it. Just keep a good look at the plane. All I'm going to do, whoops. And have we, are we full? We're not full. I was talking too much. I got too close. So let's hook up again. So there was a tip, don't get too close. Contact. You're fuel. Okay, right, I'm just going to stay quiet for a bit because I can't do this and talk. Okay, lights are flashing. We are, we are full of gas. Um, simple as that, let me check. If, I don't think we have to uh, abort, so we're just going to check there. No, we don't have some planes you have to tell them that you're uh, finished, but on this one you don't. Uh, that's that, just pull away when you're done. And remember to put your probe back in if we can find it. And we're full of gas. Uh, if you have internal, uh, external fuel tanks, I think it also fills them up. Um, otherwise, I hope that was useful and see you later.